latest reform proposals put forward by Greece have been rejected by international creditors, and that's the claim of an angry Greek prime minister just hours before yet another emergency summit. Well, let's discuss this with our team's Lizzie Fion, who is in Athens for us. Hi there, Lizzie. Well, uh, in this ongoing Greek saga, it's like one step forward and two steps back, isn't it? That's right, and just just in the last uh, hour or so, the Greek uh, Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras has uh, said that the international, some of the international creditors have not accepted those Greek proposals uh, that were put forward in an attempt to try to uh, reach a deal before Greece runs out of cash to pay its IMF debt next week. Now he broke the news on his Twitter saying that yeah, there's never th these creditors have never before been so persistent in rejecting uh, equivalent measures neither in Ireland nor in Portugal and he said that the stance shows uh, that uh, they they either don't want to reach an agreement or that they they are serving some specific interests. Now he didn't elaborate on what those uh, interests are but on Monday those uh, he, he put forward those proposed measures which included uh, raised taxes for companies and people uh, uh, on middle incomes and high incomes as well as uh, raised contributions to health care from uh, pensioners and they were initially welcomed as a step forward by some uh, EU and financial leaders despite them saying that there was uh, still some work to do however um, this doesn't mean that the the talks have broken Broken down, even though this is a very surprising uh, U-turn and the, the hope that seemed so vivid on Monday that a deal would be reached seems to have faded. But the Prime Minister Tsipras has flown into Brussels to attend uh, that emer those emergency talks that will go ahead as planned. And as we speak, the discussions are ongoing. But time is running out before that June 30th deadline for Greece to pay its 1.6 billion uh, euro debt to the IMF. Uh, to, to the IMF, uh, but uh, one senior EU official said that today was the day that, that, that a deal was supposed to be reached and they would continue those talks through the night if necessary. But here on the streets of Greece, uh, people are extremely fed up with this ongoing uncertainty. We've seen three days in a row of protests and growing divisions between supporters and opponents of the Greek government. We spoke to some members of the public and here's what they had to say. The agreement of uh, the Greek government with uh, uh, bankers of abroad is something that uh, bites, bites a terrible uh, uh, our uh, budget. I'm marching here against austerity. They've drunk our blood, they've taken our pensions, and we don't know what to do. I trust my government, the, the actual government, but I don't trust uh, our European partners uh, because uh, uh, it, it seems that they, they don't have a clear uh, position. So we'll keep you updated on the, the attempts uh, to end this very tense deadlock and the reaction on the streets here in Athens. I'm Lizzie Phelan for RT.